In this video I'm going to be testing out the Sailor Moon collection so stay tuned. <music> Welcome back to my channel, my name is Amy and in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'll be testing out the Sailor Moon collection, literally so excited. <laughs> you guys have no idea, I've had this for a couple of months and I've always wanted, well not always, but I've wanted to try it since it first came out. It has been restocked so many times, so I'm sure this will get restocked again because it's one of their favourite collections. <laughs> so yeah, I, I am really, really excited. <laughs> and this is the box, I have already opened it ready. Um, I'm sorry, I've not even swatched it, so there will be swatches in this video. So yeah, if you're excited to see what I got, then continue watching. So yeah, we're going to open it up. Ooh, I'm going to set this down here. And it says, you make me melt. I love their cards. Their cards are so nice. Um, Reading instructions. We've got da, 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 the palette. I'm super excited, so I have not even swatched it. Oh, I love the palette. I, I don't know if you can see it. Is it doing its thing? There you go. It's like it's really, really nice. And then you open it up and you get some really 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 nice shades i might i'm tempted to go for like a pinky purpley type vibe today i think so that's the palette we got the palette we got both blushes we got the one in the shade from the moon and then we got cat is eye so i don't know which one i'm gonna go for yet we'll be doing swatches and stuff in a minute and again, look at that. And then we got the blush. Oh, that's like a more of a pinky tone. And this one. Again, is another. And this is, it looks like the exact same one. It is, but it's just a little bit darker. And it's got a bit of a shimmer to it. I don't know if you're about to see the shimmer. It's a bit more of a shimmer than the other one. Let's put them side by side. See what I mean? They're this, this one is a little bit darker and you can see the shimmer on it. There you go, it's better lighting. Whereas that's pure matte and that's shimmer. So, see what type of look I'm doing to which one I'm doing. Most probably will do the one without the shimmer. But, um... We shall see. Please excuse any background noises of diggers or anything. I, I do live on a new estate, which has only just been built. So there is diggers and stuff going across and past and all that lot. So yeah, please excuse that. We've got two lip combos. Again, depending on what uh, lip bundle, sorry, depending on what um, we're going with. This is in the shade Moonlight. So we get two. This one's more of like a, this is like a matte lip. Yeah, it says ultra blotted lip. And this is in the shade Bunhead. And then you've got a nice little glip, uh, gloss to go over the top. So, don't know about this one yet. We will see. And then in the second, bun, second, second bundle, second one is this one in the shade Daylight. I'm guessing the other one's for like of an evening, whereas this is more of a during the day. So this is again, this is this is more of the lip colour. Then you've got a nice little shimmer on there as well. I can see all the diggers in the um, out the window. <laughs> so we'll see what lip products we do with them. 
and interestingly we've got some body glitters in the shade Moonlight Legend and Moon Prism Power. I want to do like a nice little thing on my cheek I think. I want to do a look inspired by uh, Nikki Tutorials because she when she done this pack when she reviewed this collection um, she did a really nice look. Um, so I don't know whether I'm going to do pink, pink and purple or just pink. We shall see. So yeah, I'm going to get everything out of the package and stick it all in front of me and we'll get started. I have already primed my skin. I am going to go I use the e.l.f. Paula's Party Primer. I'm then going to go in with the Colourpop Fresh, uh, Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid um, Tinted Moisturiser as my base because I want to go for a more natural look today and then I'm going to go in with the conceal and hydrate concealer with um, the what is the powder called oh it's there the essence brighten up powder and then once I've done that I will be back and we're going to be testing out all these products I'm super excited back in a minute right I'm back I've done my base um, I've got everything out ready for me to put on my face so first thing is um, the palette I'm going to try the palette out first So I was thinking of doing hmm, more of a purpley, pinky type look, and then maybe I could do We'll see. The glitters I'll see once the look once the eye look comes out, see what we could do. Hmm. Let's just go for it. So I'm going to go in, because there's a, there's a purple shimmer here. Not great with it, if I do that. There's a purple shimmer here, because there's a dark purple. I might do dark purple and that pink. And then see how it builds up. There's a lot of shimmers in this, so if you want a basic um, matte type of look, um, you're not going to get much from this palette. So yeah, I'm going to start off with... Well, then I could throw in some of the yellow, couldn't I? Hmm. I'm going to go in with Tuxedo Rose first off and pop it in the inner and outer corner. I'm going to leave the middle bit um, a bit more um, open because I might try and do a halo eye. I'm going to say, I'm going to give it a try. If it don't work out, it don't work out. I'm just going to pat down all the concealer. Again, I'm going to go in all of the shades of shimmer, aren't they? Yeah, that, go with that tuxedo rose, that pink shade. Just pop it here. Wow. Really work that in. That is a shimmer shade. I guess we're going to try and use the shimmers. Just really blend that in. Mm. Trying to think, do I put it on this side as well? And then deepen it to purple. Mm. Let's give it a go. I've not tried this type of eye look before, so this is literally um, a new thing for me. <laughs> oh, this could go horribly wrong. Oh, this could go really, really well. Who knows at this point? <laughs> I'm currently filming on my phone because my SD card has um, decided not to work, so which is great. So yeah, that's uh, where I'm at in the minute. I might put the pink over the top and then purple again, doing that again, but with the purple. Um, and the yellow might go under the eyes actually. So it's gonna connect them two together. It's not on the crease, it's just above the crease. 
um, to create that little, is it halo eye, is that what it's called? I am such a beginner. And I've not done this look before either, so we are just going with it today. I'm feeling pink and purpley. And yeah, so I'm going to grab a, the same brush, but a different one. Rub it off any, any excess. Oh, now I do try and clean my brushes, but yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to go into the Miracle Romance, which is a little bit of the purple. Um, and basically, without going in the middle, I'm just going to put that on the outer and inner corner. But just a bit more on the crease. Just a dip, give it a bit of depth. Let's pack that on first. Put that more in the crease. These shadows are literally unbelievably pigmented. And then on the other side, there is a little bit of fallout, literally a little bit, when um, or a little bit kick pick up on the pan, but um, I'm not overly um, worried about that. To be honest, it's literally the tiniest little bit. Put that bit up this way like that. And with the same brush, I am just going to fan out the shade up here. Go for more of a round eye today. More of a rounded look today. I don't know how well this is going to go. So. Do I go in with the pink, pink shimmer or the purple shimmer? So we've got this shimmer here, or this one here. I might start off with the purple shimmer on like this part of my eye, then maybe go in with the pink one. Let's see if I can do that one. This one is Luna. And I'm going to go in with my finger. Oh, that's so pretty. So I'm just going to pop that just here. Really just tie in that purple. Let's have a look at my other finger. So this one's love. Do I? Let's just go for it. Mix them two together in the middle. And I'm going to go in with that pink, that tuxedo rose shade and just blend around. Nice long shade. Want more in the middle. I'm really not touching these shades that much. Just putting that in the middle. Making it mix in the purple and the pink we had from the beginning a bit like that mm, what do you guys think? I think it looks pretty but I don't think I've pulled it off the look I was going for but that's not the palette that's just me being not a great makeup I say artist but I'm not really an artist makeup person really intensify that lunar shade Right, I'm going to go under the eyes with this one, which is, this is a Spectrum A06 brush. I'm going to go in that yellow shade, which is Justice. I'm just going to pop that down the bottom. Oh, there's a bit of fallout. Get my powder brush. And just swish. And that didn't leave, leave anything. And so I go in with the yellow shade. Wow. Mm. 
and then with the other side of the brush bring that pink in like that what you need now is just like a yellow liner to go underneath So I am going to use Silver Millennium, which is this silver shade here, to go in the inner corner and brow bone, which I'm going to use a different finger for. It feels like really foily. I might use a brush. I'm going to use this Spectrum B6. More of a foil. Just be careful when you dig your finger or brush in. by up here trying to make it there we go so I'm going to do the other eye my liner and lashes and I'll be back to do oh, and I'm also going to do my face like my bronzer my blush and my um I'm not going to do highlighter because I'm going to use shimmer, so I'm just going to do a bronzer, my blur, no, my bronzer, my, ugh, can't even speak, other eye, lashes, liner and bronzer and I'll be back. I've done my lashes and um, my bronzer in that. I don't know if the lashes are on properly, this is literally my second time trying lashes and I think they're on properly, but I don't know. It looks nice though with the look, it looks really pretty. Right, so I'm going to go in with the blush and... Oh, I don't think this one's on properly though. I have this feeling. Right, I'm going to go in with this and it looks really pretty to be honest. Put that on my cheeks, apples on my cheeks. That is very pink. And just bring it back a bit. Packing it on. I love the fact it's not overly pigmented because, um, well, it is if you put loads on like that. But um, you can blend it up like that. Like that. <laughs> um, I'm going to do my lips next. And to be honest. Go to the bolder one. So I'm going to quickly line my lips using this um, Saint Lux lip liner. Like that. Not overly done well, but we'll give it a go. And then I'm going to pop this on over the top. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> and then I'm going to over the top once that's actually dried a little bit pop a little bit of this gloss on the top I've got it on my teeth now, hold on A bit of a shine out of my teeth. Mm. There you go. My juicy lip. Yeah, I still managed to get it on my lips. You know what? They came. What they they were very very easy to apply. They are very. They're very very easy to apply. They feel very nice. And they look very nice. Same with the eyeshadows. The eyeshadows are very, very pigmented. I'm very, very, very impressed with them. Um, yeah, so I'm probably going to put a bit of glitter um, probably over here. So I'm going to give it a go, see if it looks good or not. So I'm going to go in with a little brush and just... a little don't know what I'm doing just a little splotch like that really pink really pretty I could have done it there too didn't I Never mind, let's do it on the other side. Now what makes it even? Make it look pretty. Like that. So yeah, that's my little glitter. Um, that's all probably I'm going to do. <laughs> I might experiment, experiment with them later on a little bit more. But we shall see. But yeah, I am done. Overall, it looks really, really nice. The glitters um, really applied really, really well to be fair. They're already wet, so you don't need to put any glue or anything on them. You can put them straight onto your face. The blushes are really, really cute. I love them. They just make you give you that little like animation vibe. And the colours, very pigmented. Loving this eye look. So yeah. <laughs> Absolutely loving the whole look. The whole collection itself is definitely worth it. If it is still in restock and available when I get this video out. Because I am very late with this. I do apologise. <laughs> um, then I'd definitely go pick it up. I'll link it down below and everything like that. So yeah. Thank, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. when um, If you do enjoy these videos. So without without um you know without any delay i will see you guys in the next one and thank you very much goodbye